All right, on three. What's he being charged with? Right, guys, we're going that way. Come on, come on. What's he being charged with? What's he being charged with? What's he being charged with? What are you charging him with? We are 11! 11 million dreamers! 11 million dreamers! Fighting for justice! Fighting for justice! And our families! And our families! What's the charge? Everywhere we go! What's the charge? People want to know! People want to know! What are you charging him with, sir? Go ahead, thank you. What's the charge? Is he under arrest? That's between him and the uh, police department. Are you in the police department? Yeah, I am, sir. So what, is he under arrest? Sir, is he under arrest? People want to know! Sir, is he under arrest? Sir, is he under arrest? Sir, where are the charges? Can we get your badge to number? Yeah, what's Sir, your badge what number? Your badge? 4, 8, 6, 6 7, number, 4, 8, 6, 7. Is this Pat community Hickey. enforcement? Is he yeah. That's it to be detained. Sir, what's he being detained for? So he's being for? detained? What's he being detained, detained for? Is he being arrested? Sir, what is he being detained for? Sir, what is he being detained for? Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Sir, please step back from the car. Car is moving. Please step back from the car. Please step back from the car. Car is leaving. Thank you. I don't want you to get back from the vehicle. What's he being charged with, sir? Where's the charge? Is he being unlawfully detained? The mighty, mighty dream! Our lives is legal, sir! Fighting for justice! Salamanca Arroyo. I'm a Drake University senior. I am from Des Moines, Iowa, originally from Puebla, Mexico. Our message is Steve King. My message is that we are not afraid of him. We are going to stand up for what we believe is right. We have a right to education, higher education, and we have a right to be in this country. And that is all. Thank you. Mr. Reyes, what's your first name again? Uh, Hector. Thank you. Hector Arroyo. A-R-R-O-Y-O. -R -R 
Pardon my ears. Why would you put someone who is not an undocumented immigrant to be arrested by the police with a possible threatening ability to be deported himself? Because Why not somebody who is documented, who is Latino, who was a former documented person, undocumented person, so that they don't have to worry about their livelihood being threatened by... Because the reality is, as we are here, like the reality is that we live in fear that our families are going to continue to be ripped apart. That's the reality of our families. I, as... Just as my fellow dreamer, I I have that guy. I am a teacher I'm from Arizona, and I have students who come and cry to me, telling me that their parents are in deportation proceedings. How can I stay by that? My dad was in deportation proceedings. He was in prison for nine months. What do I? How? With what face do I see my little sister and my little brother telling them that they're not gonna be able to see my dad anymore? That my dad can't be deported because of people that are deciding deciding our paths and enough is enough we're not afraid we are here because this is the right thing to do and we're here just to ask a very simple question are you gonna deport us all do you want us to deport us and if you do we are here to face you and that's the question that we have for the presidential candidates that are coming we are telling you that we are undocumented that we have DACA and if you want to rip our DACA so far you have that option you have a choice but we want to let the American people know that that is a choice and they can choose to be in the right side of history or they can choose to take our DACA away and be tourists.